Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So the other day I visited Abdul Samad Al Qureshi in London on Oxford Street. So I did like a little mini video to show you how the store is inside. Um, that branch is actually the only Abdul Samad Al Qureshi store in the whole of the UK. So before I go on any further, I'm going to show you a mini clip of what to expect when you enter the store. So that was Abdul Samad Al Qureshi in London on Oxford Street. As you can see, there was like barriers um, in front of the fragrances. So as a customer, you can't cross over those fragrances. You can't touch the fragrances. You can't even like to pick a bottle up and smell it yourself. You have to tell the sales assistant what you want to smell and they kind of give you a tester or a, a strip or they can put it on your hand as well. They don't mind doing that. But the point is, is that it's very, very, um, what's the word? restricted and very very secure and it's like tight security if that makes sense but then as you know if you're a fan of Abdul Samad Al Qureshi you'll know that the brand is very very highly reputable and very good in the fragrance industry like they're very very high in the fragrance industry but I haven't seen um I, like I've been to Harrods as well and I haven't seen that type of security before so that was quite interesting the ladies that work there though they were really nice too you know they give you whatever you want to smell um i actually tried out a lot whilst i was there um and there was one i wanted to talk to you about which i haven't before which is called the um which is called the Earl sultan blend i think so that was a really really nice oil fragrance oil based fragrance um it was a very nice middle eastern beautiful fragrance but the problem with that is that it's um it's not one that will be liked in the western world if that makes sense so it has like a it has like a slight skanky smell if that makes sense but not too skanky just a little bit uh, but it's a really nice fragrance but i just thought that it, it's probably not worth getting in my collection because i live in the uk and it's not one that i definitely you definitely can't wear it every day and even if i wore it at like an occasion at a wedding or an eid for example i, I don't think it would go down well with the people around me. So the Al Sultan blend is actually really nice and I do recommend you to try it if you're in Abdul Samad Al Qureshi. Um, but as I said, it just really depends on where you are and the people you're around. But that's one thing that I, I can't really add to my collection at the moment. So two things I did get whilst I was there, which I'm gonna unbox for you today, are these massive, massive boxes. So this is Safari Incense, which is the perfume version. And then we've got the original Safari but in an oil version. So I'm trying to think which one shall I unbox first. So I'm going to unbox this first because the Safari Incense, um, I didn't try that before. It was the first time I tried it was when I went to the store. And you guys are probably curious about that as well. So I think most of you have probably tried the original Safari, but I'm going to unbox this for you and show you what the oil version looks like. Of course, with oil fragrances, they are 100% alcohol free. And then on the back, you've got information about where the fragrance was made. And it was actually made in Mecca in Saudi Arabia, so that's very, very interesting. So this is a 12ml, oh, I'm holding it the wrong way. So this is a 12ml bottle, and it is really heavy. So let's unbox it and show you what it looks like. So I don't know how it opens, so I'm gonna open it up with you guys. So I've taken the top, lid off and then if you open it like that you've got like a leather a leather box inside and again you've just got the name information on the back and the name of the fragrance house on top and then if you open it you've got the fragrance sitting inside and this is actually really interesting and so cool so this is the original bottle 
of the Safari original Safari fragrance by Abdul Samad Al Qureshi in a 12 ml oil version. So if you've seen my um, review on Safari Extreme, you'll see that the bottle is quite similar but a little bit darker in colour. But the bottles are so luxurious, like they just they just represent royalty. Like, there's nothing blingy about this bottle, if that makes sense. It's not covered in diamonds and things like that, but it's so beautiful. The finishing is just so amazing and just when you look at it, it just looks like royalty. So it comes, as I said, it comes inside this leather pouch, a uh, leather box, sorry, and it sits inside this like leather cushion. And this is how the bottle is. So on the top, you've got the um, brand logo. And if you unscrew the cap, you've got the applicator inside. And I am going to put it on. Oh, I can smell it already. Wow. That is beautiful. Oh my god. Like that. That definitely deserves a review in the next couple of weeks. That's how absolutely stunning it is. And I really want to see like how long it lasts. In terms of projection, it's really, really good as well. It's like a it's like a woody fragrance with an equal balance with vanilla. It's so beautiful. Very, very luxurious, and the quality is just amazing. As, as I said, if you are fans of Abdul Samad Al Qureshi, you'll know that every single fragrance from this fragrance house is pure, pure luxury. This is worthy of a review, honestly. So it will definitely be on my to-do list to review in the next couple of weeks. But if you want me to do it sooner, then do let me know in the comments box below. So that is the original Safari by Abdul Samad Al Qureshi in the oil format. So inside the box, there was this little pouch as well, which I'm interested to see what that is. And it's a cute little keyring. It's like a mini version of it's like a mini version of that basically, but just in a keyring. That's so cute actually. So it's got the name Safari written on there. It's got the logo up there. I don't know if you can see it. And that's actually really really pretty. So this actually would make a really nice gift if you wanted to gift it to um like a family member for like a wedding, for example, or for Eid as well. It's, it really is beautiful. And trust me, whoever you gift it to will really like it because the quality is just amazing. I think in the UK it retails at about £150 approximately. Um, so do check it out if you're in the UK. Otherwise, of course, if you're in the Middle East, then you can go into any one of their stores and check it out.